Good morning, Yellow Jackets. I'm Caleb Pearson. And I'm Ryan Michaels. And I'm Mr. Crowder. And welcome to the Sports Nest. Ryan, what do we have on softball? Next Tuesday on September 4th, softball will be playing in Southmore. Uh, we're currently fifth in the district with a 9-8 record. The first softball game will be aired on Yellow Jackets TV on September 11th. And we will be playing against Norman. All right. And with volleyball, uh, we're currently 9-7, and 17th in the district. Next Thursday on the 6th, we play against Midwest City at 6 p.m. Mr. Crowder, what do you have on the game? All right, on football, last Friday we came off a narrow victory. We entered 6th in the state. Uh, we beat Shawnee 35-34 in overtime. We have a couple highlights. Corey Williams had 19 carries, 138 yards. Day Moore, 18 carries, 107 yards. Thad Williams, his uh, varsity debut, Threw for uh, 248 yards and rushed for a 17. Zane Coleman led receivers with 16 catches and 116 yards. De Jacob Dunning was a perfect two field goals for two and three for three PATs. The defense, 32 total tackles, two sacks, and seven hurries. Beautiful. And I'm going to throw it over to Mr. Bass with an interview with Coach Corbin. All right. Thanks, Mr. Crowder. This is Mr. Bass. I'm over here with uh, Coach Corbin. Uh, just finished a great Friday night game. If you didn't see it, 35-34 overtime victory at Shawnee to open up uh, the season. So uh, first things first, um, how did you prepare for the upcoming season? We spent a lot of time preparing um, both mentally and physically with our summer workouts and just preparing as a team to make sure that we were ready for our upcoming season and challenges before us. Okay. Um, so how did you guys feel going into Shawnee uh, at zero week? Oh, very excited. We're really excited. We're always excited to get out there and cheer on the team to success and lead the crowd. Okay. All right. Well, first series of the game, uh, we had the ball, uh, and you had what we call maybe a appeared to be a fake punt. Um, I like the call. I thought it was gutsy. Great call, if that was the call. Um, but tell us what was going through your mind when that happened. Um, well... You know, I'm always trusting what Coach Corbin is calling and his players I know have prepared for that. Oh, okay. All right. So this is the different Coach Corbin. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's go to uh, your specialty. Uh, let's talk about upcoming competitions for cheer. What do we got coming up? We have regionals and state coming up um, here in the near future. We're hosting regionals um, at Choctaw High School on September 15th at 6 p.m. Our division will start. And then um, our goal will be to move on to state, which will be at ORU this year. Okay, all right. And so, um, so let's let's talk about for people that don't know the, this coach Corbin. Um, talk about your history with Choctaw. Um, I'm actually a graduate of Choctaw, so I graduated here, and I had the opportunity to cheer here um, before I graduated. And then after cheering here and graduating, I actually coached for four years as the assistant cheer coach. Um, during that time, we won three state championships. Awesome. awesome. And uh, perfect. All right. So um, next up for the cheer and the football team will be this uh, next Friday. Um, I think we host Lawton. Yes. Lawton Night. Okay. So uh, get out there and uh, were you uh, were you happy with the, the first go around as far as the cheer, getting the crowd involved? I thought they did awesome. a fantastic job and the student section was awesome. Yes. Very so, loud and supportive. I think that really helps. Yes. So now we got a bigger game at home with a bigger crowd. So get out there and um, let's. Support our jackets. All right, thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. Well, that's all for today in sports, Yellow Jackets. We'll see you on the next episode.